Hi everyone and welcome to my channel audio video music and entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you guys in five simple steps how to set up the audio gain structure properly in your live sound reinforcement environment or your home recording studio environment. Okay without wasting any further time let's jump on to the topic. Every electrical device like a microphone, audio mixer, powered amplifiers, powered speakers uh, they generate or they inherit a noise floor uh, where if the input signal and output signal is too hot or too loud then it causes distortion which we don't want or which we want to eliminate or minimize in live environment or home recording studio environment or recording studio environment. Now every electrical device uh, they generate uh, a noise which is caused by the molecular motion due to heat in semiconductors which is called Johnson uh, noise uh, in semiconductor junctions. Realities apart, let's jump on on the five simple steps. As you can see on the mixer right here, uh, first step is uh, make sure the input gain on my preamp uh, knob is down anti-clockwise, it's down all the way and uh, plug in your microphone make sure the pad is switched off pad is an attenuator which cuts about 20 db to 24 db from your input signal and it sits before the mic preamps in the signal chain uh, so you just want to make sure that's switched off and the input gain is to the minimum uh, level and uh, second step is your fader or your output uh, level to your master bus uh, is set to nominal level, zero dB or unity gain level. Now, uh, look at your voltmeter, whatever your audio mixer has, like a voltmeter or LEDs. Mine has like two LEDs for left and right that shows that the signal when it reaches zero dB or nominal level or unity gain level uh, then it's a healthy signal without any distortion so switch on your microphone make sure pad is off and start speaking into your microphone as normal and uh, one two three four this is a test test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the minute it's gonna reach to nominal level or to a level where the LED signal LEDs they started uh, eliminating in green stop the input gain right there so this is your second step now on the professional audio mixers this could be different like you would have a proper voltmeter uh, once it reaches the amber light and uh, then just stop uh, the input gain there and uh, uh, that could be in the range of minus 18 dB to minus 12 dB dependent on how good the mic preamps are in that mixer. Okay, now third step is on your master bus, uh, again, uh, increase the level, output level to 0 dB or uh, unity gain or nominal level, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you have a fader, uh, and there's a professional audio mixer then they will have a marking of 0 dB just make sure it's right there now as you speak into the microphone you can see the input signal is reaching to like nominal level uh, and that's displayed on the signal uh, LEDs fourth step is go to your amplifier or if you've got active power speakers like let's assume this is an amplifier now your amplifier would have like input gain uh, uh, knobs so whatever signal it's receiving from your mixer uh, then you can adjust that signal and output to your speakers so let's assume uh, this is uh, the uh, amplifier and this knobs is sending the signal uh, to the speakers and let's assume that uh, I have a professional amplifier with the same LEDs uh, which are like signal and clipping. So what you want to do is with the microphone on start moving this knob and start speaking into it. Test one, two, three, four, five, six. 
the minute it's gonna hit the signal LED just stop it there you don't want it to click or peak uh, that's where the distortion will uh, be added into the signal chain guys that's how you set up uh, proper audio uh, gain uh, structure in the live sound reinforcement or recording studio environment obviously the second step to it is how to balance or how to produce a proper mix of different instruments which is uh, a totally different topic but this is how you set up uh, the uh, proper audio gain structure uh, for the signal that travels from your mic uh, uh, audio input to your speaker output all right guys hope you have enjoyed this short video and uh, if you have please click on the like icon share the video if you have learned anything from it and subscribe to my channel and i'll keep making good av audio and music and entertainment videos thank you bye